On the surrounding hills, the speed freaks are gathering in their mobile homes. Breedlove did 328 and he's going to run the car back. Oh, yes. Oh, oh great. Yes. 328. Oh, my goodness. I don't think they're going to make their one hour turnaround, yeah. do you? No, I don't think so either. The car is meant to return even faster. But the wait seems far longer than usual. When it finally appears, it's being towed. Something has gone wrong. Someone has missed a piece of desert fod. It's been socked into the air intakes and hit the engine. Mr. Breedlove, is it right you have some engine problems? Uh, yeah. What, what, what's happened? Well, we got fod damage on our uh, uh, last uh, run, so uh, we have to go home and, and put another engine in. Oh. So we're on the way. <laughs> I'm very, very sorry for him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it gives us a window, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it would be We can get, get, get our tracks clear now and fod and everything. Get ready. Just because it happened to one car means it could happen to another car. So we're being very, very careful at the moment to check the surface. There are very few stones out here, but every single inch of track, and I'm doing a mile every six seconds. Yesterday, people were taking an hour to walk that mile to pick up the stones on there. So six seconds of track takes an hour to clear to make sure there are no stones and we're not going to damage our engines. Good station SSC, ready to roll. SSC, clear to roll. All stations, SSC, rolling. 10.7 speed, a reach, looking for me. Looking for Minburner on Black. That's good, Minburner, looking for Max. Today should be their first run over 600 miles per hour, using the full power of the afterburners, which guzzle fuel at four gallons a second. 450, looking for 550. 500. Using it back. But at 624 miles an hour, one of the computers which control the car suddenly crashes. Ah, pump shut down, we've got a problem here. Abort. Indications are that Comp 1 is down. I say again, indications Comp 1 is down. For Andy Green, it's back to HQ to review the tapes with squadron leader Jane Millington. What made me say Comp 1's gone down? They try to figure out why the computer has crashed, but no one can find the answer. What made me diagnose it's COP1 there? Uh, pit station SSC required telemetry's attention at the earliest available. In town, the Black Rock Saloon is keeping score. The British are drawing further ahead. Welcome out, board, clear to roll. Rock and roll, SSC. Bricks off. All stations, SSC is rolling. The next day is the same story. Another computer crash. Whoa! Yeah. SSC is shut down with an abort fire. Uncommanded. Andy just uh, radioed that SSC is aborted at uh, mile uh, four. I literally just heard that uh, we're towing back, that the second one's been cancelled. Pit SSC, the car is stopped. SC copied, car has stopped. All stations, the car has stopped. No, it's crashed. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I you. Give up, then. Give up, man. No, don't give up. Should try something what? different. I've tried everything. I cannot make it fail. It's fucking work yeah. It only fails. Well, it's, got be, it's got to be something we're not doing in the workshop, though. Something we're not simulating. Pop no, is way. down again. Which means we can't run. We've got to get it fixed. So we're going back in again? Yeah. Pain in the arse. Yes. There is, unfortunately, an intermittent fault on one of the onboard computers. It shuts itself down at about the same speed every time, about 540 miles an hour. It seems to shut itself down. If the computer shuts down, it goes into fail-safe mode and shuts the car down effectively. Although time is tight, 
The car goes into the workshop for a complete overhaul. The team are growing weary. A couple of volunteers for tonight for the uh, night shift. Who ain't done it yet? Who has not done nights yet? Well, I'm having a day off tomorrow, my kids, and I'm going to have a day off tomorrow, and anyone else wants a day off, they have a day off tomorrow. But, okay, what Noble says or anyone says, everyone's getting tired, and I want to start fresh on a new day. Bring it with Nick, I want a day off. Well, the toss for telling Richard. Yes. Well, I'll just tell him the rain Thursday. Because that's the easy bit. It's the next 10 seconds that are difficult. <laughs> Although Gerlach has only 350 inhabitants, it has five bars. The team have made the Black Rock Saloon their unofficial headquarters. Bored? <laughs> Not bored at all. There's a life to live, life pleasantly. Live this life of luxury. People. I think the Americans need a, need a little lesson in etiquette. <laughs> well, this is all we do, actually, isn't it, really? We just eat and sleep and, and um, do this thrust thing on the desert, really. We have a little drink, but then that helps you sleep at night. You have to have a little nightcap. Now, several days of dust storms add to the delays. Right, and finally, we do have a strong weather warning for this afternoon. I'm not sure how it came in, but it arrived this morning. <coughs> Winds are 35 mile an hour, uh, stronger than uh, last night. For Noble, it's even worse. Time is money. This is just no joke. We have been um, over half a million in the red. Uh, there's nobody there to bail us out except my house, and my house isn't worth that. Um, so, you know, you're on the verge of bankruptcy most of the time. That's the only way in which you can keep this project going. You, you, you have to take calculated risks, just as Andy takes the driving, calculated driving risks, I take the calculated financial risks. There's currently zero visibility in dust return with extreme caution. The dust storms are seriously slowing down work on the car. I'm on a day lost, though. Can't beat the weather, can you? Oh, so we're not running, hey? We're not running. No. Doesn't look like it. Looks like she's got a sail for it. We're rolling. It's a week since Thrust last ran. The American breed love is back but he's having a series of terrible problems. He's out of the race. Thrust will finally be ready in late afternoon. Only time for a one-way run. The team aren't keen to do it. Noble isn't happy. Uh, very soon, we're gonna find ourselves in a situation where our productivity is gonna be absolutely appalling. And I think we've gotta take hold of this right now. What? can we achieve today that we can't achieve tomorrow with a pair of runs? Up. The problem is it's really the attitude, which is the jam tomorrow attitude. We have to grab opportunities as, as and when they come and make use of them. That's how I feel. There is no opportunity now. There is a run today. We've got a 12-mile tow back because we can run once. Yeah. And then we have a 12-mile tow back followed by serious checks of the car, which means we won't be finished until 9 or 10 this evening. If we're not finished till 9 or 10 this evening, you then get the team up at 5 a.m. to come out here and no, do a pair of runs in the morning. I'm sorry, but no way. But we've got to get ourselves into a situation where we do, um, when we get any kind of bite, any kind of opportunity, we go for those two runs and we do them. We are. We, well, no, one, well, no one's arguing against that. I mean, you know. Richard, no one's arguing against that. No, I'm, okay, okay but I mean, we've really, we've really got to do it. Look at the runs we've done already. Now we've had a major rework, there's no reason why we can't just progress at the next rate again now. But to do it this afternoon is, is foolhardy, I think. Okay, anyway. okay. okay. Well, You're trying to get us to do Richard, it. if you want to do three runs the next two days, we'll do them all three tomorrow. Three runs tomorrow? Yeah. That's right. Possibly, possibly even four. So why don't we get ourselves geared up? 
between this little group here and say, right, we're going to do four tomorrow and we're going to really, really see what we can do. Tomorrow they're hoping the computer...